Hello students, in this video we are going to study about mid latitudinal region. So, we have already studied about the low latitudinal region. So, under low latitudinal region, we have the range, the location from the equator to 10 to 20 degrees north and south. Okay, from both the sides. Means 0 to 10 in north and 0 to 10 in north, uh, in south. Means from both the directions, that much area is covered by low latitudinal region. Under low latitudinal regions, we have equatorial rainforest, tropical monsoon climate, tropical savanna type of climate and tropical desert or arid type of climate which we have already studied in the videos which I have uploaded before. Today we are going to study about mid latitudinal region. Under mid latitudinal region we have three types of climates that is Mediterranean climate, China type climate you can also call it as humid subtropical climate and the third one is marine west European type of climate. Okay. Now what is Mediterranean climate? Basically, Mediterranean climate has a name. It has a different name that is called as Garden of the World. So, Mediterranean climate receives a lot of rainfall during winter season. Okay, it receives a lot of rainfall. It has a long summer also. Means uh, the temperature in Mediterranean climate is totally favorable. Even for plants, even for humans as well as the animals. Okay. So, it is also called as the moderate climate region. So, varieties of citrus fruits we can see here. We can see grapes, wines, lemons, oranges in Mediterranean climate. And because of that, it is also called as garden of the world. Now, what are the latitudinal locations? As you can see here, the latitudinal location covered by the Mediterranean Climate is between 30 to 40 degrees north and south. Means in both the direction from the equator, 30 degrees to 40 degrees in north direction as well as 30 to 40 degrees in south direction is covered by Mediterranean climate. The areas covering Mediterranean climates are California, Cape Town, Southern West Australia and central part of Chile. So, you can see here, the summers in Mediterranean climates are very much warm, they are long as well as the winters are dry and mild wet. Okay. So, these are the temperate areas due to the influence of water bodies also. Okay. They are different from low latitudinal climates in that the latter have high temperatures throughout the year while the former have moderate temperatures. We have already studied that in the low latitudinal region that is in the rainforest, in savanna, in the desert, they have very high temperatures. Okay, the case of low latitudinal region. But in the case of Mediterranean region, the temperature is totally moderate. Means it is not too cold, it is not too hot. It is totally balanced. Okay, rainfall in the winter is the characteristic. The main characteristic is what? Rainfall in the winter, which we can see only in the Mediterranean region. They also have subtropical high pressure in summer and westerly winds movement in the winter dominate this climate. Now, the climate here in winter is around 10 degrees to 14 degrees. Okay, you can see how cold the climate is from 10 to 14. So, because of that, it is always foggy at the coastal side. In the summer, the temperature is from 21 degrees to 27 degrees. So, it is quite sunny in the summer. And it has a dunaral range of temperature. What is the meaning of dunaral range of temperature? Means in a day you have high, uh, high temperature and low temperature. That is hot and cold. Hence it is called as dunaral range of temperature. Next is what are the types of trees and uh, the plants which you can see. You can find scrubs, forest, evergreen, forest, hard, thick, leathery and usually small. Means each type of trees can be seen over here. Coniferous vegetation in the higher altitudes, grass in areas of low rainfall. So these are the specialities of Mediterranean region. So you can also see that winters, uh, winter sown grains, olives, grapes, vegetables, citrus fruits, animal husbandry. So as we can see that Mediterranean region is called as garden of the world. Because of its favorable climate, the plants are very much uh, very much grown in a large amount along with the 
uh, fruit plants along with the flowers so because of all these things the animal husbandry is also carried out here now as i said you that this particular place is totally favorable it has a pleasant climate it is not too cold not too cold not too hot hence because of this there is lot of development even the movie shootings like cinema industries especially california so the shootings on uh, various movies the scenes which you see those are shooted in the mediterranean type of climate so this is all about the mediterranean climate and the characteristics features and the geographical distribution after mediterranean climate the second type of climate which we observe in the mid latitudinal region is Tropical climate. It is also called as humid subtropical climate. Okay, it is also called as humid subtropical climate. Now let us study about it. The major difference. What is the difference between Mediterranean and the China type climate? Okay, so the major difference is that the Mediterranean region is west margin of the continent, while China. is found in the east part of the same latitude now if you take on earth okay so earth is in a circular form as we all know that it is in a circular form okay now the latitudinal extent if you see latitudinal extent for mediterranean as well as for china both have 20 to 40 okay in north as well as south the only difference is what mediterraneans are found in western region and China type is found in the eastern margin. So this is only the difference. They have the same latitudes. You can also find that the rainfall is occurring throughout the year. So in this type of climate, the rainfall is seen throughout the year. Both the regions receive winter moisture from cyclonic storm, but in summers, China type receives rainfall from conventional showers. So basically, China type climate has some amount of conventional winds and because of conventional winds there are some amount of precipitation in the form of showers that is rainfall so the latitudinal extension is from 22 to 40 degrees north and south which are the places which come under this particular region as the name itself says us that it is a china type climate so definitely south china will be one of the part of this area you have southeast usa southeast south america coastal areas eastern australia eastern asia so japan western island and chile all of them are the part of uh, the china type climate so in the whenever it is very cold it is between 0 degree to 18 degree celsius you can just see the coldness of this type of climate you have very high humidity in this subtropical area because of high humidity it is also called as humid subtropical climate okay hence it has large amount of humidity it is also called as humid subtropical climate it has frost in winter and definitely the precipitation the precipitation is between 600 to 2500 mm so you can also see that there are some cyclonic storms in winters because of the humid climate you have cyclonic storms in the winters uh, as the air they keep on moving from uh, the sea from the coastal area from the water body to the land surface from the land surface to the water body so because of that uh, the cyclonic storms are generated now which type of plants are seen you have forest some of the grassland pines in higher altitude rice wheat corn tobacco cotton sugarcane citrus fruits are seen in large amount in the subtropical area that is china type of climate okay so this is all about this climate now the last point which we have to study in the mid altitude latitude region is marine west european type of climate okay so marine west european type of climate has a latitudinal extension from 45 to 65 degrees north and south okay so it comes above the china type of climate so it covers from 45 to 65 degrees north and south and 
uh, the areas where we can see such type of climate uh, are Canada, USA, Alaska, Southern Chile, Southeast Australia, New Zealand, Western Europe. Okay. So, what are the things or what are the speciality of marine West European type of climate? Now, basically, a lot of European countries come under this particular uh, climate, hence uh, the name is given as Marine West European type of climate. Okay. Now, considering the latitudes, the proximity to the sea and prevailing onshore winds makes this climate temperate. Now, the latitudinal region, as we have uh, studied, is 45 degrees to 65 north and south. Okay. Second is the proximity to sea. How close it is to the sea water. Okay. This region is how uh, close to the sea water. That thing. And the third thing is how are the winds. Okay. Uh, winds are blowing from onshore to the surface or from surface to the onshore. Means all these three conditions are making the climate temperate in the case of Mediterranean. That is marine West European type of climate. The annual temperature is very, very low. Okay, it is very small. Winters are mild because of warm ocean currents. So, we all know that uh, as, uh, as the sea is closed, then definitely the humidity is more and the warmness is also more. So, even the winters are mild because of warm oceanic current. Now, the cool, mild to cool summer temperature is around 20 degrees. Winter temperature is around 5 degrees. Okay. And the rainfall, that is the precipitation is around 500 to 2500 mm. Okay. It has heavy cloud cover, high humidity, drizzle, fog and frost. So, if the temperature is 20 degree in the case of summer, then you can just imagine that it is very mild summer. It is not very hot summer. And the winter is around 5 degrees, means it is very, very cold. Definitely, if the winter temperature is 5 degrees, then definitely there will be fog, there will be drizzle in the, uh, atmo uh, in the atmosphere, in the air. Okay, so because of this temperature, you can find a drizzle, fog and frost. West coast location under the influence of westerlies affect the warm currents in the coastal area. Year round short green grass trees shed their leaves during the winters and coniferous forest, wet, rye, pastures and grazing animals and coastal fisheries. So what are the occupations, trees and plants found here? Basically the trees are very very short and the tall trees which we have seen over here, they shade their leaves during the winter season. You also can see a coniferous type of forest. Okay. In this particular area, that is marine West European type of climate. Here we have the plants like wheat, rye, pastures, and because of that, the grazing animals are seen in plenty. Even though coastal fishery activity is carried out here, people are engaged in fishing activities. Okay, so these is, this is all about the mid latitudinal region. So, we have already discussed about low latitudinal region, the four regions which come under it and today we have discussed about the mid latitudinal region. Now, the next point is regarding high latitudinal region. Inside the high latitudinal region, we have all the polar areas. So, I will be uh, recording the video. In the next video, please do watch it for the further explanation. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe the channel.